This is the very last picture posted to Toshno Patterson's Instagram page on September 8th. The caption, Happy Baby, Happy Mom. Unbeknown to her and her loved ones, though, she and her baby girl, Saraya Polwell, were hours away from being kidnapped, shot, and burnt. Their precious lives allegedly only cost 34-year-old Leoda Bradshaw 100,000 Jamaican dollars. On Friday, Bradshaw made her first appearance in the home circuit court in downtown Kingston on charges to include capital murder and kidnapping. She was not alone. Sharing the prisoner's deck was her cousin and co-accused Roland Balfour on charges of conspiracy to murder, kidnap, and misprison of felony. The Crown brought the door to court on a voluntary bill of indictment where criminal proceedings bypassed the parish court. The prosecution then outlined the allegations against the suspects. The timeline seemingly began on September 5 when Bradshaw learned of the existence of Saraya the infant daughter of MP Philip Paulwell. Bradshaw, insisting she is Mr. Paulwell's wife, allegedly contacted Patterson on Facebook to tell her that a paternity test is needed to confirm her spouse is indeed the child's father. Patterson blocked her. The prosecution says that she was on a flight to Jamaica the very next day for the sole purpose of orchestrating a murder plot. The Crown alleges Bradshaw met with Balfour and two other men, Richard Brown and Rasheen Miller, and promised them $500,000 to kill Patterson and her child. $400,000 was to be paid after the hit. On Saturday, September 9, the 27-year-old mother, with her child in arm, left their home in St. Andrew and entered a SUV parked at their gate. Fifteen minutes passed, and then the car left. The prosecution believes Bradshaw was the driver, and she took them to her hitmen, who then brought them to Worker Hills in East Kingston, mercilessly shot them, and burned their bodies, leaving only fragmented dried bones behind. A day later, Bradshaw issued a statement. She claimed she had nothing to do with the dastardly deed, and she only interacted with the missing mom once. Boy, may I tell my people, it's definitely sad, so... Out of the whole 500,000 where she promised them, man, them what she had to pay them people. She only paid 100,000, you know, a yeah, man, so that means, say, yo, the other 400,000 wasn't paid up. So, yeah, them say, yo, I saw them, I'm not hungry in Jamaica, we are, them are going to take this a little bit of money and do something so evil. We are taking a, a little baby life, we never do nothing. And a mother where them didn't even know my people. It's definitely sad. So, um, yesterday, Philip Powell finally break silence and he has this to say member of parliament for east kingston and port royal philip powell has condemned that what he described as the unmanageable murder of his child and the infant's mother mrs powell's daughter 10 month old saraya and her mother 27 year old tanasha patterson were reported missing on september 9 that anyone could have murdered a mother and an innocent baby is unmanageable and my heart is heavy with sadness said mr powell as a human being, father and legislator, I am hoping that all who were involved are brought to justice and punished to the fullest extent of the law. So, to hear this man attack my people, this, he's talking like him no know Leo the Bradshaw and him no know Tanasha Patissa because the way him said my people, so I like him as to you that anyone could murder an innocent mother and baby. Him not say a thing baby, you know, him not talk like him know the girl. And him damn well and know the girl, plus him know Leo the Bradshaw. So, why am I talking like say yo, he know him no know them? Let me tell you, say yo, see it, Leo the Bradshaw was fighting over a last cause because see it, he him take Tanisha Patterson and Saraya life and see it, the man they was showing no pity for him, which would um, imagine him showing any pity for her because that the act the way she commit is a very evil act. So. He's not supposed to show no pity, but the fact, the way how him say my people, is like, him didn't even know them, and it's like, uh, something will happen, and him hear about it, but him just like, give him opinion towards it. You know what I mean, my people? Yeah, man, but to be honest, you know, I don't know why Leo that she went to this extent to do this, just for a man who probably didn't even love her, or didn't even care for her, you understand? Because only for a man out there, so what about this man she would have taken him? baby a little infant baby life and a mother where she didn't even know because when they stated you know 
she linked the mother on Facebook which is Tana Shapatis and, and I say yo, she wanna do a DNA test you know, for the baby you know to make sure say yo, the baby is Philip you know, because she is um Leo Philip Powell wife. So she take it up and fear herself, inbox the girl on Facebook and I explain everything and you don't know say yo, the girl blocked her so then she came to Jamaica yeah man she come to Jamaica the next day because she serious about it. She had make big talk to yo she a Philip Powell wife and a bag of things so she came to Jamaica plan everything and then when she planned everything my people she had 500 toes she had pay that me I tell you my people 500 toes 500 toes had even money because you make two turn you buy two stuff your money done and imagine you have three somebody the money have to split up for three purses so she make sure you use Philip Powell car you know because she knows say yo um the baby if Tana Shapati is not going to nobody care, which she don't know, but she know Philip Paul will care. So she makes sure you use that car and make the hit man get the car. Boom 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 do whatever and then after everything was done, probably like the next day or the same day, she makes sure her up come on Facebook and make made this broad statement stating that she no know them um she never really been in contact with them and she not have anything to do with the car she had make sure clear fear and name first you know which in fact she knew what she did and the fact that she even hid her face when she had come up my people let me show you how foolful and stupid she is but i tell you something feel like say yo and the first she had do something like this it's the only thing that she got caught yeah man my people let me say anytime you're a politician or you have money you know, man crime solved faster in a jamaica than anything else you know because if it was a regular somebody you know your mother just look parties and say, I just a regular somebody, but when you're well known and you're a politician, it's all faster. Best belief. Remember me telling my people. Anyway, still make me in a task down below. To some of my people may I hear say how oh, they done up a it guard they get clapped last night. So the man identified as the Mani Taylor, otherwise known as Hochi Pang, was SHOT dead in a section of the community known as Black Bakawan. Police has confirmed the incident, but up to publications, they will still they were still on the scene conducting investigation. However, several residents told news that the Dan was marked for a death after he started moving shaky, according to residents. Hochipang has been making some questionable decisions in the community and has been disrespecting community elders who were well respected figures in the community. Things came to a head earlier this week when he ordered beating of one of those community elders, residents claim. This was reportedly the final nail in his coffin as his own men decided to take him out. The residents shared Arnett Guard has been unstable up until a few months ago, but residents were adamant that there would be no fallout from his killing and guarantees that there was no war in the community and no one will erupt because of the incident. So yeah, mommy people, the Dan won't friend them take him out because he might push badness and he might disrupt some long time elders in the community were well respected. Where the bad man them respect them people so you as a dan you are saying you, you, you own bad man them to beat up some elders in the community where them the same bad man they love and respect because them grew up to them you understand them the elders they take care of them so you must send him bad man friend them to beat up the elders but elders but the man them say them not depend on my people yeah man so they make sure to take him out last time my people brawl him full him up a shot so you know, see, I want less done, but you know how the thing go? As one done, fall, and next done, rise, and that's just how it is in Jamaica.